In the last video, we told you all about the stock LLY LBZ LMM turbochargers, how the vanes move to control turbine braking, control exhaust velocity, and back pressure under heavy load. In this video, we're going to talk about how we upgrade them to supply 640 rear wheel horsepower or more. And you can see on the Stealth Series turbocharger, we've turned out the inside of the housing. Uh, we've made room in the inside of the bore for a larger turbine. On the stock one, you have uh, quite a bit more material in there. Now, anytime you can lower the pressure on the back side of the turbine, you get a better, better efficiency, uh, better running turbocharger. So that's an advantage. Um, we add the larger turbine, we add the larger compressor. So we'll cut the inside of this housing. This is the factory compressor cover. We'll put this on the lathe as well, turn the inside of it to fit the larger compressor wheel. We'll go from the 62 by 65, 13 blade stock turbine on the LLY to a larger 66 and a half by 72, 10 blade turbine. And what that's gonna do is allow for lower drive pressure at higher operating speed, higher operating load. Anytime we can lower drive pressure, that's just as good as adding boost. So the less pumping efficiency that's lost in drive pressure, that's horsepower that you're leaving on the table and that's EGT. So anytime we can lower drive pressure, our EGTs are going to improve. Our compressor wheel, you notice we call it Stell 64. It's a 62.5 millimeter compressor. And you heard me right, it's actually slightly smaller than the stock compressor. Now the advantage we have is the six blade design. It's a performance design. It has a larger back wall, so it's better at running at high pressure. Um, and it also is taller. So the compressor wheel is larger. You just don't necessarily see it on the compressor inducer side. It is good for more horsepower. Uh, these turbochargers easily make 640 horsepower to the tire on our dyno compared to the 530 to 540 we see on a stock LLY. And we're able to maintain awesome drivability because we have a low rotating mass. Um, it, it does not go into surge easily. This uh, upgraded compressor uh, maintains the use of the factory anti-surge ring. We've worked a lot on the clearance between the compressor wheel and the, and the cover and on, uh, on how to how to shape a compressor that drives really well but also makes good power. Each of these assemblies is balanced, the solenoids are rebuilt, new bearing packs, everything's redone, maintains turbine braking, maintains all those benefits of a VGT turbocharger at altitude and under towing situations, but just makes more power and runs lower EGTs under load. What if you want to go to the next level? <laughs> well, if you want to go more than 640 horsepower, uh, we have a 67 millimeter version of this with a larger turbine yet and a larger uh, performance oriented vane pack that we're in testing right now with. And our goal for that is mid 700s to the tire. Again, you're gonna trade off a little bit of that low speed performance uh, with the larger wheels, but our goal is to make it the most drivable, most reliable, uh, highest performing VGT on the market. I'm Nick Pregnitz, thanks for watching. If you like these videos and you wanna learn more, check out the Diesel Tuners blog dieseltunersblog.com.